know, you're sweet, but I have very important things that I need to do today. So go to this address, and we'll take care of all of them. Who do you think you are? The fucking president? Not yet. Soon, though. I don't understand, Fright. You said we play cards today. <laughs> I knew she'd come through. Hey, Jen, give me the cash, won't you, so I can play some card. Jesus! What are you, some kind of race car driver or something? You said you wanted to get here quick. Five star review. Thank you. Fucking businessman. <laughs> Said he wanted to get here quick and nearly shit his pants. Uncle Josh, I have been working on this project for over a year and a half. You, you didn't even consult with me. You're not the president yet, bud. You only have one month left, after all. Okay, one month for for what? I, I don't. I don't want it. Hey! Fucking businessmen! You're fucking kidding me, dude. Do you realize how much that's going to cost me? We'll compensate it, but you really shouldn't be parked in the middle of the road. I'm an Uber driver. I don't give a shit. Don't park in the middle of the road. This is hardly the middle of the road. Adrian, what the hell's going on? Josh, I'll call you back. <laughs> I see. You're too busy to deal with normal people. Not even a fucking apology. Okay. Put your information in. You know, I could see your ass for negligence. Then you'll never get a fucking cent in the whole world because I'll be able to convince anybody that you're just a fucking fraud. A fraud? Dude. You hit my car from behind. Good luck explaining that. You know, you're sweet. But I have very important things that I need to do today. So go to this address, and we'll take care of all of them. Who do you think you are? The fucking president? Not yet. Soon, though. I don't understand, Fright. You said we play cards today. <laughs> I knew she'd come through. Hey, Jen, give me the cash, won't you, so I can play some cards? Since you've paid me back every other time I've lent you money. Fat chance. Oh, you don't talk to me like that. I'm your father. Maybe if you'd actually acted like my father since Mom left. <sighs> what kind of pompous ass name is Adrian Quentin? Get that money tomorrow, you arrogant bitch. Grandpa, I'm fine. I didn't even get a scrape. Let's just let this go. Yeah. <laughs> Says the guy that just crashed his own car. You know what you really have to do? You have to hire a driver. I don't need a driver, okay? I'm perfectly capable of driving. Okay, it was one accident in years. One is all it takes. The only reason that I got into an accident was because Uncle Josh said I had one month left. Do you know what he's talking about? No, hell no. I'm gonna find out, I'll tell you that. Look, why don't you just meet me at the office, all right? But only after you've been cleared to leave. Let me just clean it in. I love you like you were my own kid, Adrian. Maybe you just don't have the experience for this project. Mr. Richfield, I hear you, okay? I just, I need you to trust me on this. This deal is... Just give me one moment. 
This better be very important because I'm sitting in a meeting with Mr. Richfield right now. Sorry, sir, there is a woman here demanding to speak with you. She has your personal business card. Uh, tell her to come back later. I'm sorry. Wait. I'm not gonna come back later, dude. I need a new car. You might not have to work every day, but I can't afford that. Listen, calm down, okay? I'm sitting in a very important meeting right now. I will handle it later. You want me to calm down? I, I, I don't care if you're having a meeting with the President of the fucking United States, dude. If you don't come out here... Deal with her, kiddo. Maybe we can try and find something else to work on later. I'm gonna come in there, and I'm gonna tear apart every single what thing. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with him? Mr. Richfield, hey! Listen, you trust in my dad? You will like this. Please, please, please just read it. Again another time. Just check it out once. Hey, you! You really think you're gonna get out of here without paying me back? Richfield. What? Do you know who that was? Do, do you know who I am? Yeah, I do. Adrian Quentin. And I don't care, okay? You owe me for yesterday. Hey, that was Mr. Richfield. He's the owner of Richfield Refineries, okay? Listen to me. Your childish antics almost just lost me a massive supply deal. My childish antics? You're the child. You don't know how to drive a car. I'm not listening to an Uber driver. Are you seriously ignoring me right now? Give me my phone. <laughs> No, 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 no. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. I was sending an email to Mr. Richfield. It's very important. Okay, I will deal with your claim after. I need a car, okay? I, I, I can't afford to not work right now. I get it. Okay, I get it. But you can't act like this in a public space. You're telling me how to act? You snatched my phone out of my hand. Who does that? You crashed into a parked car, refused to apologize, and now you're not paying me back. Who does that? Are you freaking kidding me? No. Uh, I take it this is the young lady that you crashed into, huh? Well, since my uh, grandson is too busy to deal with his responsibilities, why don't I help you, huh? Take it. I'm Xander Quentin, at your service. <laughs> now tell me something. Did my good-for-nothing grandson offer you any kind of compensation? Not a single penny. <laughs> well, say no more. Did I hear you say earlier on that you were uh, a driver? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> we just lost a driver. Will you be a perfect fit for us? You know, it would be as a corporate driver position, pays really well. I mean, I mean would you be interested? I mean, because re regardless, you know, I, I do want to help you with your car. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. No, just say yes. I'll send you a contract tonight. You can start tomorrow, all right? And until your car is ready, you can, uh, well, feel free to drive one of the corporate cars. Great, okay, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Mr. Quentin, is there something you need? Uh, no, I'm okay, I just needed to... <sighs> it's you? No. no.